All right, guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Justin Davis, and I want to say right off the bat, thanks for supporting me on Patreon. I am a YouTuber full time, and it really helps me a lot when you support me on Patreon. So I want to say thank you to all the guys supporting me on Patreon and the newest members on our Patreon group. You can find that link down below. But today, we're talking about something new from Diatone, and I have another fantastic review for you in that really sweet spot up in Northern Washington. We're gonna do some cliff dives today with the Roma 5, not just gonna fly it in my backyard or the baseball field. We're gonna go out to an exotic location today to fly this. So let's go outside now. Let's do some flying, let's do the flight test, and then we'll come back in and I'll talk about the specs and my final opinion about the fantastic Roma 5. Here we go, guys. Let's do some flying. All right, guys, super excited about this flight test. Diatone Roma F5. Here we go out over the cliffs, over salt water. This is going to be my review for my flight test on the Roma F5. No room to mess up right here. If you crash in salt water, your quad is done. Instant corrosion. I haven't seen a lot of gear come back from a salt water crash, so this is definitely not a beginner place to fly your quad, um, especially out over cliffs and things like that, where it's kind of hard to get back to your quad. Now, you do notice there are some props in the view, and um, that is from the FPV camera's angle. If you put a GoPro on top of here, you will not see the props in view. So uh, for guys who want to do cinema stuff, this quad basically can do pretty much the best of both worlds. It can do cinema, super smooth flying, or it can do wicked freestyle on 6S. Uh, the 4S 2450 motors are also pretty beasty as well. They're really fast. The power to weight ratio on here feels really good. And a lot of times I like to fly quads two different ways in my reviews. I like to fly them with the GoPro on there and without. Now with the GoPro, I was still getting great punch outs, but you feel the extra weight of the GoPro on there. GoPro Hero 8 has a pretty good weight to it. So if you take that off, the quad flies quite a bit better. Um, it doesn't change the tune feeling much. The tune on here as well on the F405 Mamba series is fairly smooth. I don't see a lot of jello in this video. Kind of analyze it yourself and look at it. It's actually pretty smooth up high. When you fly a quad up high, <laughs> is where you can really see where there's some jello in the video. So um, jello just means some wiggly wonk lines in the video, not the feedback right there. I'm running 25 milliwatt, by the way. You can see I'm on F1 channel at the bottom right, and we've been flying for about two minutes on this battery. And this is a 6S1050. That's gonna be my recommended freestyle battery for you guys for the Diatone Roma. If you want to fly like a longer period, I will try to put a link down below for you guys. And also I'll put some battery links for 4S 1550s, which is the 4S one with the 2450 kV motors. But this one, I'm rocking some 6S today. They asked me which version I want and which version I always want is the 6S. Longer flight time, probably in the six minute range, if I'm just cruising or kind of milking a battery down to its last point. If you want to fly the 4S version, you're probably gonna get a little less flight time around four to four and a half minutes. You can run a 1550 and, and probably push it out to about five minutes. 1300 milliamp is kind of the, the norm standard for 4S. But right here, I'm just kind of feeling that yaw. This yaw and pan looks really smooth. The tune is quite good and it felt good in the goggles. The other thing that I noticed is that the the camera that they chose to put on here, the Phoenix 2 series from Runcam, it's quite good. It's a little bit sunny today and um, I haven't brightened this video up or changed the colors or anything. This is the stock color set that's on here, so it, I think it looks pretty good. The Phoenix 2 is an outstanding camera. But I have to say that the, the tune doesn't feel overly loose and I'm kind of able to experiment with my flips and rolls and freestyle out over these cliffs. And, and typically, if I didn't trust the quad, I probably wouldn't do a whole lot of experimental type of flips and camera views out over the cliff. I'd fly a lot more safe. But I can get in there nice and close. I can do some pretty good punch outs and boosts. And a lot of times, if you're watching a review, look for the punch outs on the quad in the FPV camera view, and that'll show you where some jello can occur. At high throttle is where you can really see how well a tune is working out on a quad from a company. And this is the stock tune, guys. You don't need the pids on this or anything. It's just straight out of the box. This is what you get. So 
I, I think the F405 is performing really, really well. And my ethics props that I have on here are the bomb. I'll try to put some links down below. Look at that, there's some breakup right there. And that's because I'm behind myself running 25. But I have to comment on that too. Like it's running 25 milliwatt like a champ. Uh, I'm, you know, a football field, two football fields away at times and it is pretty rock solid. I did see some breakup when I dropped down below the trees or I get behind myself, but that's because the antenna is pointing the other direction. I do have diversity on the SkyZone 030 goggles that I'm rocking today. But man, what a nice quad. Really, really fun to fly. Super smooth. You can do big air freestyle with it or cinema. Either way you go, you're gonna have fun with this quad. But it's, it's pretty impressive right out of the box that it flies really nice and it looks incredible. Look at that little double direction reverse spin and roll there. I love doing those. But it feels good. Yeah, a little knife edge loop there, a little spin. Super cool. And it's just, I just had a, a good time out here in this location, just flying a couple packs and enjoying this new terrain. This is up in Northern Washington and it's super, super fun. A little bit treacherous for the beginners, but if you know your gear is set up properly, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and bring the Roma in for a landing and we'll go back inside and we'll talk about the specs on this quad and we'll also give some final opinions and thoughts in comparison to the other quads out there you guys might be considering buying. Here we go. All right guys, welcome back from the flight test. So I mean, look at this baby. This is one sweet quad. 218 millimeter frame, five inch props on here. 2207.5, 1700 kV motors. I have the 6S version. If you want the 4S version, I believe they're the 2450 kV Tokas, but these are very similar motors to the new Taycan, which I have sitting right over here. You guys requested it. So here it is. We're gonna review that on the channel. The new version two Taycan is coming up. So we'll, we'll talk about this one coming up next week when I get a chance to fly that this weekend. But the Roma 5, it's all about the Roma 5 today. And what's really neat about this one, not only is it kind of a, a left field type of design from what I've seen recently, it has a lot of the new hard, hard ABS style plastic camera mount on here. And it also has this really fancy little flight controller protector. So this is the F405 flight controller from Diato in the Mamba series with 50 amp ESCs on the bottom. And it is a 30 by 30 stack on here. You also have a 20 by 20 mounting option on the bottom, replaceable arms on here. And what's really cool is we also have these sort of um, new, they're not TPU, which I've seen a lot of TPU and, and TPU tends to look kind of cheap after a while. I've seen a lot of these TPU mounts. We've got a TPU mount in the back for the antenna. So if you do crash, this will just bend back, which is cool. But these bumpers on the bottom are that hardcore like ABS molded plastic. So this is kind of nice. And also in the box, which is kind of nice, I also got a whole extra set of these molded plastic parts. So if you break one of these bottom motor protectors, maybe you have an extra set in the box, which is kind of cool. And also what's kind of nice is that when I first looked at this quad, I thought, well, here we go. I can't get to the flight controller. I, gotta, I actually took the whole top of this off to access the flight controller for beta flight for my OSD. And I realized quickly that I don't have to do that because this pops off. It's just clipped onto the standoff right there. And then you can pull this back and you can access the flight controller with your USB. So that's pretty cool right there. This piece comes back and you're good to go. And then you can snap it back on the standoff and go fly again. Now also I have a top mount battery set up on here. I've got my 3M sticky pad on the very top. You can do pretty long battery on here if you wanted to. Like I mentioned on the Mark IV HD, we just reviewed this one. Go back and look at this one. If you want a five inch with GPS, this one is the bomb right now. Um, a really, really nice flying quad. And I flew both of these in the same location. And if you're gonna ask me which one did better, um, this one flies a little bit lighter feeling. Um, and it, it feels like it has great power for freestyle. Now this one is kind of a traditional long body design with a sort of a long range intention in mind for this one. So um, you do have GPS beta flight 
return to home. So if I fail safe over the cliffs with this one, it's gonna level out itself and start to rise up to that specified height in beta flight. So that's the benefit of GPS. Now, if you don't want GPS and you're fine with just an awesome freestyle or race quad, the Roma F5 is, is certainly above uh, the par for the design aesthetic because I think the design on this one is probably better than the Gap RC. Gap RC is my old standard, as you guys know, but the design on the Roma F5 kind of wins the design award again. Now you also have kind of a thick strap up here, which is nice. You can accommodate something like a 4S 1550 battery, and that's the one I would go for. I've got my really nice GoPro mount in the front, and honestly, with the, the Phoenix, Run Cam Phoenix 2 on here, I just recorded the DVR and showed you guys that instead of some uh, hyper smooth video. I wanted you guys to see what the tune looks like on this quad for today's review. But also in the back, I mentioned that we have a TPU mount. You also have a setup back here for TBS Crossfire or Mortal T if you want to run your long range antenna. And guys, you're asking me about TBS a lot lately. Should I run Crossfire? Um, which should I run, the DJI controller or the Crossfire? Run the Crossfire, it's gonna be a little more reliable in my opinion. Uh, but I have been using the DJI controller as well and I've never had a fail safe with either the Crossfire or the DJI transmitter. Um, you can link up the DJI transmitter to the air module. If you want to run the air module, that's gonna give you uh, a pretty good range out there. I believe people have been testing it two to three miles. So uh, that's pretty good. Crossfire will take you even further. So um, yeah, and if you go out that far, you definitely wanna have GPS on board. Now in the back right here, we have sort of a backseat VTX, which is also kind of cool. We have the 400 milliwatt Mamba series VTX for a 5.8 video and we have a cap back here. We have a capacitor and it's kind of free floating back here. So if you get the Roma, you want to make sure that you sort of zip tie that down so it doesn't fly out into the prop because you would have a, a nasty accident if that gets popped back there. But you also have a molded spot for your XT60 connector and that's sort of held in the vertical fashion right here, which is kind of nice. So a lot of extra cool parts on here. And in the very back, last but not least, we have the right-hand circular polarized Mamba series 5.8 antenna. It's sort of a, kind of a medium height antenna back here. So it'll do medium range on here. So this is probably a, an okay quad, but 400 milliwatt will get you pretty far out there, a couple miles on 400 milliwatts. So uh, I would call this a medium range quad for freestyle or racing, but it rips, it's beautiful and I could not wait to get my hands on it. I, I think it's fantastic. Um, I could keep talking about this for another 15 minutes because there are a lot of cool aesthetics about this quad and I think for the starting point price of around $189, it's actually a really good deal for some awesome, beautifully designed gear on this one and a really cool frame. Roma F5 is definitely a thumbs up on the channel, maybe even two thumbs up because it is just stunning to look at and beautiful to fly. Great, great flying tune on here. Um, not a lot of vibes. So I think it's it's where it needs to be for a bind and fly for five inch. So um, you pay close to $200 or something, you want a decent tune and something that's gonna bind up to your radio and be ready to go. And this is one of those quads. So thanks again for watching my channel, guys. I'm Justin Davis. Please do take care out there and I will see you on the next one. Take care.